How's it going, everyone? This is Dr. Palacios, and I'm here to bring another comment about migraines. And today's question is going to tell us a little bit about exercising and how to apply them to patients with migraines. Now, here is the comment. I have classic migraines with aura. I have had them since I was 13 or so. Now I'm going on 40. I'm wondering how other folks deal with their migraines and their exercising. I plan to take four strength classes a week at my gym and one high intensity type class. I often take Saturdays and Sundays off. Monday and Friday, I do just about 25 minutes on the elliptical and a little abs routine. Now in today's video, we're going to explore the whole phenomena of exercise with migraines because there's two schools of thoughts, if you wanna say it. The one that says don't do too much exercise because they're going to cause migraines. And the other side says you have to have a routine so it can improve your migraines. Now we're gonna to try to find a middle ground between the two. The first thing to keep in mind is that having an effective exercise routine is actually helpful for migraines, but it's not directly, rather indirectly by having a better quality of life. Because we all know or understand that having an exercise routine makes the heart stronger. It also, one feels better from the endorphins, which are your natural painkillers. And then your physical fitness improves and it doesn't matter which age you are. Exercise is just always good to integrate in your life. And besides making your body more physically fit, exercise can also lower the risk of depression, anxiety, and sleep apnea, which is a common secondary effect in migraine sufferers. So having an exercise routine is helpful because it's just going to make your body more physically fit and therefore improve your migraines indirectly. But also keep in mind that over-exercise can aggravate the symptoms of migraine. Now, what kind of exercise are we looking at here? Well, I wanna specifically mention about aerobic exercise, which includes jogging, walking, cycling, and running. And it's about 30 to 45 minutes, three times a week, is the preferable time to perform these types of exercise. And have, they have clinical studies to support that they do help in the long run for migraine sufferers. Next thing I want to go over is the clinical studies about migraines and exercise, specifically aerobic or high intensity exercise. So you can look at the description below and go into the actual study that I placed. And, but I'm gonna briefly talk about it here. So this study measures people with that timeline of 30 to 45 minutes of exercise three times a week. And then they measure their episodes and effects on their migraines later on. So what we find in the study is that the duration of the pain, the number of days of getting migraines the severity and the medication use, they all went down. So there are promising effects, but just like the ketogenic diet, we do need bigger studies that can hopefully promote a healthy routine to exercise for migraineurs. Now, you may be wondering, how do I start an exercise routine? Well, there are three things to keep in mind. One, always drink plenty of water before and after. Number two, start slowly. Work your way up slowly. If you notice that the window of 30 minutes is not enough for you, you can decrease it a little bit or you can extend it. But again, don't overdo it and start off with how much you can because overexertion could increase stress, which could also lead to a migraine or other kinds of symptoms. And number three, have your medication toolkit prepared in case a migraine is developed 
during the exercise routine. And also, if you get a migraine during your class or your exercise routine, please, please, please get out of that, go rest and stop. And some final tips to always keep yourself hydrated, to let your personal trainer, if you have one, know about your condition. And then number three, to rest appropriately and avoid exercising during extreme weathers. Remember, there are migraineurs who tend to develop migraines due to the low pressure changes, such as very humid, very cold, very hot, or rainy and thundering. So let's try to avoid the triggers as much as we can so we can avoid the attack and continue to have a healthy lifestyle. I hope this presentation was helpful and now you can contemplate and decide for yourself what kind of exercise routine you'd like to try out. And remember, it's only three times a week. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. And if you'd like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.